Hey folks, uh, Ron Shawley here, coming back at you. What we're looking at now is a telescope. Um, I want to share you, share you, you can talk and talk today, huh? Um, the telescope we're looking at is the Levin Hawk Skyline Pro telescope. It's the 80 Max series, and it looks kind of complicated, huh? But actually, this is an entry-level telescope, fantastic for students to learn um, about astronomy and shooting the night sky. The MAP telescope, and I'm going to get into this later on, but basically a MAP telescope is simple to use. You have your eyepiece up here, your finder feet, like a finder scope, okay? Um, it, it has an off-on switch right there, and then you basically, to adjust it, um, you know, you find a star, and then you basically, once you have it in your telescope, then you line up your star, your dot, your red dot with the star, and it's kind of easy, but I'll talk about that later on. Um, the telescope is absolutely, again, comparing it to other scopes in the market that I've seen, um, it is durable, well-constructed. They give you... An absolute must, a manual, and I absolutely encourage you to read the manual because before you even use it, you have to learn how to use it, okay? Um, the mount itself, the way it's designed, again, I'm going to be covering this later on, but you're basically looking for the North Star. Once you find the North Star, then you basically calibrate your mount to the North Star. Once you do that, by utilizing your settings here, okay, you can you can you can track a celestial object through the heavens by rotating these knobs, okay. Now later on, they have what they call the Go To series, and if you remember last year, we showcased the uh, the Celestron Go To telescope, um, and they are fantastic. The Go To telescopes, once you calibrate them uh, on the keypad, you just type in where you want to go. Uh, whatever there's like I think there could be possibly a, around 60,000 objects in the night sky you can just key in any one of them and the telescope will automatically go to that location okay but this is this is not a go-to this is the old manual telescope okay and a great it's a great way to get children started in astronomy okay um, everything you see here, I'm going to pan down so you can see the tripod, okay? It comes with a really, really durable tripod. Uh, right there, you see the mount on the bottom of the tray. Um, the tray is detachable, okay? But the tray is nice because it, you, can, you can store your lenses that you're not using on that tray, okay? While you're out in, outside in your backyard. Um, on the bottom of the tripod, it has like little pinpointy stakes, okay, that you can push into the ground to keep that tripod from moving back and forth, all right? It has your, uh, now the mount structure, okay? This is your actual mount, the base of the telescope. This is where I like to call it the computer, the manual computer for the telescope, all right? It has a counterweight that has to be adjusted because you want your telescope, um, to be balanced out perfectly, okay? If it's top heavy, that's not good. You know, these are all things we're gonna talk about later on, but basically, you have a, a good counterweight system, and the counterweight on here, it's kinda neat. All you do is, is a set screw, okay? And then I can, I can pull the, the counterweight up and down, okay? But it's not been calibrated yet. Um, that, that's gonna take some time, but I'm gonna be doing it later on. So when I do it later, I'll be videotaping the whole process as I set up the telescope. I just want to give you a quick overview, okay? Um, you got your adjustments here, so the telescope can move left or right, up or down. Real simple, okay? You have a set screw here on the bottom. The set screw is what will align, it will allow the telescope to be set at a particular angle in the sky, okay? And then on the side it has a set screw here, that you can lock in that forward motion, okay? The, the toe mount, mounts into the tripod. On the bottom here, we have a, a, a thumb screw that you can lock down tight 
that prevents the whole thing from moving, okay? So I can loosen it a little bit, all right? And it allows me to rotate the whole assembly. Once you get it lined up, you simply use your set screw, tighten it down again, all right? Okay, now let's uh, take a closer look at the telescope itself, all right? This is a Mac telescope. And again, we're going to be talking later on about the differences between Mac, ref, ref, refractor, re reflector, okay? There's different types of telescopes, right? Uh, it has a dust cover on the front, all right? Now, the Mac 80 basically means the 80 stands for, remember, 80 millimeter at the, at the top of the, so at the, right here on the front of your lens, this is the optical, the 8 millimeter, okay? That tells you how much light is coming into the telescope. Now in the Mac series, Leavenhoek has, I believe, 80, um, 100, 120, 140, 160, okay? Meaning you've got a bigger optical lens out here, okay? It's a bigger tube, all right? Uh, the lens part, this is your mag magnification. This is the power end, okay? No matter what your millimeter is out here, you can get various lenses for the telescope. All right, right now we have a wide angle attached. Uh, it also comes with another lens. Um, I want to get this right. Uh, a 10 millimeter lens, okay? So it has a, a super 10 millimeter lens. Well, that's pretty cool, okay? It's like a 10 power, okay? Now, in my opinion, this is a really, really, really good setup, okay? Uh, it comes with a nice carrying case. It comes apart easy. Um, you, to get the, 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 the telescope off the mount, there's two set screws here, and you simply just loosen them up, okay? And the whole thing just comes apart. This comes off easy. This, you got one, two, three, three set screws, it all comes apart, okay? These, you just take the thumb, thumb screw, and they slide right off, okay? You simply slide them on, thumb screw, it tighten it a little bit, and you can adjust the uh, telescope that way. The telescope is well made, well made, and again, it has all the increments on the settings, okay? Everything that you need um, for night observation is on here, okay? So, now, what I'm doing with the telescope here, okay, I can rotate the telescope on its axis, and it has, on the bottom here, it has all the... Um, I like to call them declinations, okay, the degrees, okay? So if you know where this particular star is in the heaven, once you have it calibrated to the North Star, and you have just like, like a road map, you know, it'll tell you in, a, or in the heavens at what particular time of the season and day, it'll tell you what settings to put your telescope at, and manually you'll be able to go right to that star, okay? A lot to learn. Uh, it, it doesn't, for, even for me, it's a learning curve. I mean... Um, I've never ever used this type of a mount system before. I've always used the basic telescope, you know, the tube, mount it, a tripod, look up, and there it is, okay? But this is the way to go because you're providing your child and or yourself a really good in-depth knowledge at the heavens, okay? And it allows you to learn how to use a road map at looking at the stars, okay? And of course, if you... Don't want to go this direction, you can always look at the go-tos that Leavenhook has. And again, we're going to be getting the uh, the go-to here once they, you know, right now they're out of stock. Once they come in, we're going to have them on hand. Uh, we're going to be showcasing them at our local, um, we have a, a series of shows we do, okay, at area malls. And also, I'm going to be doing a series of night classes uh, for the local people in Western PA um, where they can come out and we're going to be doing astrophotography utilizing the telescopes that were sent to us, okay? But again, folks, Leavenhook, um, this is their Skyline Pro Telescope Series, the, um, the Pro 80 Max. So definitely, definitely check them out online if you're interested. Um, and, you know, we're going to be posting these blogs on AccuWeather or Facebook pages, uh, our astronomy page. So if you have any questions, please feel free to email us. Um, you know, we're here to help you, okay? And again, like anything, I really encourage you to read the manual before you jump into it, okay? Um, 
it's a lot less frustrating if you know what you're doing before you do it, okay? All right, folks, take care.